Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today, I will be doing a comparison video for you guys between a real zebra and a fake zebra V2. Just to help you guys follow along with the video, the fake one is worn and the real one is not worn. The reason the fake one is worn is because I did do a social experiment, which I will have a video coming up on that soon. So go ahead and stay tuned for that as well. Also, I did forget to mention that the real one has this tag hanging and the fake one doesn't. So that'll probably help you follow along to the video as well. So starting off, when you look at both shoes, you can see that they kind of look identical. But if you look at the fake one, it looks like there's more black stripes and there's white stripes. And if you look at the real one, like you see more white than black, if you guys know what I'm saying. Also, you look at both shoes, they are both a size eight and the size eight on the fake one is a lot smaller. You guys can see like, you guys can see the comparison right there. This one is a lot bigger, which is, well, it's not a, that much bigger, but it's bigger for sure. And if you look down here, you can even see it, it's more noticeable. This one's bigger, this one's smaller, and the fake one obviously is smaller. I don't know why, I guess they just can't get the sizing right. Before I continue, I do wanna say that this fake pair right here is actually a really good fake. When I look at them both, they do look pretty similar, but there are some differences that do differentiate both shoes. Moving on to the side of the shoe, both shoes do look identical. You guys can't really see much of a difference. Maybe the red on this one's a little darker, and the red on this one is a little lighter. This one being the real pair, and this one being the fake pair. As a matter of fact, the font on the fake pair is a little bit thicker than this one. You can see that the spacing between the 350 and the back heel tab is only like an index finger away. But if you look at this pair, right here is not it's a little bit bigger you guys can see that i can probably fit two fingers in there the only reason that is is because this is the restock of the zebra and this fake was imitated from the first release which the first release is supposed to be that distance and this second release is supposed to be this distance moving into the inside of the shoes you guys can see they're identical there's really not that much of a difference other than the fact that this shoe is smaller the stripes are basically placed in the same placement you guys can see that the swoosh right here like the swirl goes right to the heel tab and on the real pair the same thing there's really not much different there. They look pretty similar. The only thing I would say would maybe be right here. You guys can see this little black thing. That's supposed to be like that. That's on a size eight. I'm not sure if it changes on a different size, but on this pair, you guys can see it, there's kind of like a arc right there and there's a little bit of white below that. On the real pair, there's no arc below that. And then moving on to the back, there really is no difference. They look identical. Like I said, these shoes are pretty close. Other than that, the real pair, it looks a lot skinnier and the fake pair, it is a lot wider. And I did say that in a lot of my videos before that the fake pairs usually do make them wider for some reason and the real pairs, they do look a lot skinnier and more more of a triangular shape they kind of like swoop up like that this one looks kind of just like a freaking beer can holder moving on to the stripes of the shoe this is the real pair right here you guys can see that these white stripes they are pretty thick and if i show you guys a fake pair they are a quite thinner i'm gonna try to show you guys both the next to each other so you guys can see the difference the fake pair right here the, there's more spacing between the lines and the real pair there's less spacing and that just and also you guys can tell that the real one is the one with the quality check sticker inside the fake pairs don't come with that so that's a good way to tell if a pair is real or fake make sure they come with a quality sticker now moving on to the insoles the real pair is this one the fake pair is this one right here the real pair happens to look a little bit wider than the fake pair this one looks a little bit darker this one looks a lot more brighter than the camera and if you look at the fonts on the real pair it does look a little bit bolder than the ones in the fake pair it's kind of hard to notice it but if you really do take a good look at it you can see that this one is a little bit more bolder than this one if we go to the bottom, the top is the real, the bottom one's a fake. And we go to the heel right here, they do look identical. There's not much of a difference. Like I said, this fake is really good. It's really hard to tell. This could possibly fool somebody if you don't really know about Yeezys like that. If you go to the, this side right here, which is what a lot of people check when you're checking like real or fakes, the real one is seven to eight and the fake one is five and a half to six and a half. I don't know why they did that. I mean, I'm assuming the shoe is pretty small. So they just put like this insole in there because it's the only one that fits. I'm not exactly too sure, but I'm pretty sure that the real pair is supposed to obviously have seven through eight since that's the one that came with the real pair. The real pair does feel a little bit thinner it does feel a little bit more flimsier and the fake pair does feel a little bit thicker it makes it a little bit hard to bend but that's not something you can tell on camera obviously i mean it's that should be something you have to tell in person if you had both pairs in hand usually that's how it is with the real pairs the real pairs do always feel a little bit flimsier than the fake pairs usually fake pairs are super stiff last but not least i'm gonna try to show you guys the bottoms even though this one's dirty i did want to show you guys a comparison on the boxes but the problem with that is that when i got these shoes sent to me they came wrapped up in just the wrapping of the Yeezys. They didn't send me the box with it. So I guess they did it to save on shipping costs. So I really can't show you guys a comparison since I don't have a box for them. So going to the bottoms, they're pretty much identical. Obviously, like most shoes are gonna make them identical. The only thing that usually differs between the fakes and the reels are the boost, of course. The boosts on the fakes are pretty stiff and the V2s do have really nice soft boost. And on the reels, of course, they're gonna be softer. Another difference I see between the two is that the boost right here, it does look very dry. It looks like a dry grandma skin, very nasty. It just looks very wrinkly. I mean, it does have the dots that they're supposed to be there but some of them are kind of faded so i'm assuming i can kind of give it away but other than that like i said it looks very wrinkly it does not look right i'm pretty sure you guys can see it right there you see how wrinkly it looks and that's not from where they came like that i remember seeing that when i first got them and the real pair right here it doesn't look as wrinkly you just have the texture that it's supposed to have and it looks nice and moisturized but it doesn't look too shiny or too matte either it's like a nice in between if you guys can see there you can see that you can see the light through it but if i shine through the fake pair for some reason the light barely goes through. you guys can barely even tell that the light's there and that's pretty much it guys that's all there is to this review you guys saw the differences between the fakes and the real this is like one of the best fakes i've gotten as you guys can see that's very few differences like you guys can easily get scammed by fake pairs out there there's some really good fakes out there and it's very scary because there's actually i'm pretty sure there's a lot more people wearing fakes
fakes and there are real it's kind of scary people think they're getting the real thing but they're really not like this pair right here i probably could have sent it to goat and they possibly could have believed that it was a real pair and like the sale would have gone through but the problem is i already wore them so i can't even try that anymore i should have at the beginning to be honest anyways guys like i said i will do a video on how to legit check yeezy zebras this is not that video this is just a comparison to show you guys the difference between a real and a fake most likely tomorrow's video will be on that so just stay tuned for that and also stay tuned for the social experiment on the yeezy zebras if you guys want to see more comparisons more legit checks and more just yeezy content or just dope content about sneakers make sure to give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and make sure all your friends subscribe i've been seeing a lot of you in the comments be like oh damn i'm so glad i found you which it means a lot to me because it shows that you guys are loyal honestly the sneaker fam is the greatest fam out there in my opinion you guys like actually even though right now you guys are such a small group you guys still motivate me to make videos which makes me want to put videos out every day unfortunately i couldn't put one out yesterday because it was fourth of july i was celebrating my independence day with my friends you know out of the beach enjoying my day but every monday through friday i will put out a video i'm probably even going to put out a video saturday for not uploading tuesday so i still have five videos a week i want to keep it that way every single week that comes up anyways before i go i do give a shout out to today's fan of the day and today's fan of the day is joshua esqueda big shout out to you bro you did actually give away for this month so congrats to you as well anyways guys i gotta get to editing this video and upload it for you guys so make sure you stay well it's your boy